Tina Turner breathed her last on May 24 at her home near Zurich, Switzerland. She died peacefully after a long illness in her home in Kusnack near Zurich, Switzerland. She was 83. She was simply the best. We don't need another hero. And what's love got to with it? For a certain generation, she will always be the asset queen, a sobriquet she earned for her role in Ken Russell's 1975 rock opera Tommy. She played an erratic prostitute dealing in LSD. She sang the soundtrack version of the Pete Townsend song. Born as Anna May Bullock in Tennessee, Turner initially sang in her church choir as a child. She began her music career after witnessing Ike Turner's performances in local clubs and eventually became one of the backing singers for his group, The Kings of Rhythm. Later, she took the spotlight as the frontwoman of the Ike and Tina Turner Review, releasing notable songs like Fool in Love and It's Gonna Work Out Fine. Turner's personal life was marked by hardships, including enduring years of abuse in her marriage to Ike Turner. However, she found the strength to leave the relationship in 1976 and embarked on a successful solo career. Her cover of Al Green's Let's Stay Together and the release of her album Private Dancer in the 1980s catapulted her to even greater fame. Throughout her career, Turner achieved numerous milestones. She recorded the theme song for the James Bond film, GoldenEye, held a Guinness World Record for the largest paying audience for a solo performer, and received 12 Grammy Awards, including the Lifetime Achievement Trophy in 2018. Outside of her music career, Turner found love with music producer Irwin Bach, whom she married in 2013 after a 27-year romance. She also faced personal tragedies, including the loss of her eldest son, Craig, to suicide in 2018 and the passing of her youngest son, Ronnie, last year.